So I'm going to start with the blow pipe. And in a moment, I'm going to go to the furnace and get a very small quantity of clear glass on the very end. This table is called a marbling table or a marber. It's an actual tool. So you can see I, I picked that chunk of glass up on the end. So once I'm satisfied that this is cooled enough, um, I'll be able to go back in. I'll, I need it to be able to support the weight of the glass that I'm getting next. So the darker orange that you see inside of this mask is that purple glass. And the lighter on the outside is clear. So what we're going to do is once I have a bubble in this, we start to blow it up. This will, um, you'll be able to see the clear glass less and less, it'll be more of just the purple. It's a nifty trick to give the illusion of colored glass. Okay, the next step in this process, I need to get some measure of bubble going. Okay, um, I'd like this to be basically easy on day. So we do what we call a starter bubble. Right now, this is all this is solid glass. Okay. Dan is going to be supplying all the air from this point on. to do this part of the operation that's called transfer. Three dynamics. Exciting. A couple of drops of water on that jack line. And a tap on blow pipe. So again, once the glass is when the glass is really plastic like this, I can I can affect Yeah. 
So now I'm going to do what we call a flash and box, and this is to kind of even out the heat a little bit. We will, Dan is going to catch it over there. So if I can get over there, please. Out of the way. So just like we broke the, just like we broke it off at the jack line, I'm going to use a little drop of water here on the, on this punchy on the bottom. And it's going to create the same kind of fracture across the punchy. Okay, we bonk. That's how one makes a purple vase. That's so cool. Well, that was all a couple of weeks ago now. Uh, Will has since stopped by and dropped off my Christmas present for 2012. Really pretty purple vase. Thanks, Will.